What's up guys? You might recognize this room, but you definitely don't recognize that. That is a brand new custom sump. I'm actually out here in Dallas again. Uh, you remember the water mixing station behind me? There it is. Um, but this is that brand new sump I was telling you about. This video does not do this thing justice. I mean, this is a beast. This thing is a monster. Shout out Poseidon, Poseidon Creations for making this thing. It is one of a kind, just an absolute monster, monster sump. So it's gonna be going on the custom tank in this room. So this is gonna go straight through the wall into the sump on the other side. Uh, that's this week's job. Um, let's do a checkup on everything. So this is what is in the QT right now. We got one little leopard out right now. We had got a, like four. So he says there's about two to pop out every time. That is a Bell's Flasher ass, the creme de la creme. And then we got a little Tinkery Butterfly. Sorry for all this nonsense on the glass. But there's the whole gang. This butterfly is Gorgeous, gorgeous. It is, it is nighttime, so the big tank does have the lights off right now, but let's look at it right now. So the gang's all here. We unfortunately did lose one of the Borbonius, um, but the zebra tank is doing awesome. We got the white tail, the magnificent fox face. We still got the other two Borbonius. We got the gold flake angel. Um, this tank looks a lot cleaner now. Let's back up real quick. So we got that cabinet next to it, all up in one piece. So we do have a massive coral shipment coming on Friday. It is Wednesday. Some of the acros are gonna go into the big tank, but for the most part, they're actually gonna be added to that frag rack in the new sump. So I got a lot of work ahead of me before that coral comes. Um, well, let's wake up in the morning and get to it. Alrighty guys, it's time to do an install. So let's show you what we're working with so far. So you see the pipe sticking out of the wall. We ran into a little bit of a hiccup of, you know, where the stud is, you know, where the pipe's gonna go through, but let me show you what we're working with. So this pipe goes to the other side, but the beam of the stand is right there. And if we go a little more to the right, there's a stud. So there's like perfect balancing act with it. So I'm trying to nail it down as best as possible to figure out how to get that pipe through so it doesn't run in the stand because a one inch elbow does not fit behind the beam. It, it's just a total mess. Um, but it will look good. Uh, let me show you underneath the stand so far. So I've taken the ATO tank out, cut the, take the return pipe out, cut that pipe, and now just going through this rat's nest and draining this. Lots of work to do. Well, so the old sump uh, doesn't fit. They put the sump in through the back and forward, so the only way to break it out is to literally break it out. Yeah. Good times. All right, so the sump is finally where it's gonna be fun. The rest of them, we got three pipes coming out the wall. We got main drain, which emergency, and the return. Sorry, I'm out of breath. It's, uh, it's been a lot of work. It's a little hot. Um, but basically all the hard stuff is done. The rest of it is pretty easy and straightforward. And uh, let's finish this thing out. Okay, so I was about to pull the drains or the bulkheads out of the tank. And I look up and I see a little movement. Okay, I tried to record from the top or from the bottom of it. I couldn't see it, so I'm gonna try from the top down. Yep, there he is. What's up? So what's crazy is the client said that fish went missing like four months ago. <laughs> it's just been in the overflow box like this whole time. The mate's actually in the sump of the other tank. Uh, we haven't been able to pair with anything and I guess it's because it was just so mad that its mate was like, I don't know if it's censored or whatever, but like, that's so funny that it just was in the overflow box this entire time. Can't really see it, but they're back together. I am currently underneath the tank, uh, slowly but surely making progress. Both the drains are done and connected. Now I'm gonna do the return. 
All right, plumbing is done from the tank. So we are done underneath the tank. It's hot under there. Let's go finish this thing up in the sump. All right, reef mats hooked up, just the return lift. Finally done. Oh my God. All right, let me show you what we're working with. All right, so this is gonna be a manifold. There's gonna be two reactors sitting over there for row foss and carbon. Nice return over and under. Main drain comes in to the reef mat, the emergency. See how the top off skimmer. I'm gonna do a UV sterilizer tomorrow. And it's gonna be all up on the wall, full apex all up on the wall. It's gonna look awesome. It has been a massive long day, but the water mixing station's got water in it. It's time to fill this baby up and hopefully everything stays dry. All right, all the electronics are up. We are gonna do apex on this tank a little later, but this is just kind of temporary. So we got the MP40 for the frag tank, skimmer, main return. Now she's ready for water. All right, so I am done with the custom tank. Well, not done, but water is flowing through the new sump, into the tank, through the reef mat, through everything. So I gotta put the UV sterilizer on. Um, gotta make it look all pretty and nice. Um, but I'm not gonna show you that. I actually wanted to show you the pair of clowns, like the one that I just pulled out of the overflow. So we had the other black clown, and it was actually in the sump of the custom tank. And like, we've tried to pair this clownfish with so many clownfish and it just beat like the living crap out of every other clownfish that we've tried to pair it with. But then we found this one in the overflow box and they were originally a pair. And it's been like four months since that clownfish was in the overflow box. And look at that, they're back together. Like nothing ever happened. They're hanging out. It's like a true love story. Like literally that other clownfish was beating the crap out of like, I think we tried like four different clownfish with her and would not go with anything. We put this clown back, fine, perfectly okay. They're like, never even nipped a little bit. It was like, the, they instantly recognized each other. It was so cool. Uh, so now we actually have a pair of clowns in this big tank. They're kind of hosting in that back area. Uh, really cool. We got three. Look at the big pods. Big old pods. Yeah. And now we got all four of them out. That's awesome. It's like every time I was We got a big box of coral going into the new sump. So let's open it up. So without showing too much of the full sump, we got a new Radeon XR30 Pro over this awesome custom frag wrap. Shout out to Poseidon Creations. Um, but yeah, let's start firing some coral in. Of course, everything from Top Shelf Aquatics. We're not gonna glue everything or anything. We're just gonna put it straight into the new sump racks. Um, but first, obviously we've gotta dip it all. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven 10, 11 pieces of coral total. It's a nice mix of, you know, acros, torches, there's a Zoa in here, um, a really nice mix of everything. All right, everything is in the tank. Good. Look, top down. And uh, let me walk you through what we got. So we got a Jester Insanity Torch. There's uh, three Little Shop of Horror Zoas, Emerald City Monty, Nebula, Thunderstruck, Taj Mahal, Golden Jaw Dropper, Christmas Marabellus, just a regular golden uh, hammer, Laffy Taffy Ghani, and a hologram hammer. Now it's time to do the UV sterilizer and I can then finally show you guys this awesome, awesome song. I'm done. I'm finally, finally done. Let's check it out. So over here at the water mixing station, see there's a new pipe comes up over. This for the new water change system comes down and everything. Let's zoom out. So you might be wondering, 
with this rat's nest of wiring. And I'll tell you, there's Ecotech, I mean, or sorry, Neptune, going along this whole board. That's a whole other trip. I mean, this was enough, you know, basically this trip was get everything running and operational in the new sump. And we have accomplished that. Next trip, we're gonna finish up all the wire management, get all the apex in there, and it will look a lot better. Uh, but let me walk you through all this plumbing. Like I said, this is gonna be the water change. So this valve here is gonna deliver fresh water into the ATO. That's gonna get redone. I actually ran out of red PVC, so I gotta redo that when I get back next time. This one is salt water, and it'll deliver salt water right into there. This pump here goes into the UV sterilizer over and down in there. Main drain, emergency, the main drain goes into the reef mat. We got our skimmer, awesome, awesome frag section with the Radeon Pro. Everything's opening up really nicely. Seems really happy. Comes through the wall over there. tank and then we got the plumbing underneath here so we have the two returns the t from the returns right there and then we got the main drains right there and the emergency is there and they go all the way over into the wall back there like i said not everything is done the wire management still has got to get spruced up but this was a lot of work um, but i think this sump for what it is temporarily came out absolutely amazing i'm actually really happy with how this came out um it's gonna look even better once everything is like properly wired and it's just gonna be super badass. Okay, now is the moment of the truth. Let's see if this water change thing or just water delivery system works. Uh, there's a lot of piping, a lot of head pressure needed, but it's a big pump, it's a CHA 9.0, so it should do it, but let's find out. Yes! It's draining out the last of it. Quickly uh, running to turn it off just because we already filled the ATO up earlier. Um, so it was already pretty full. So I didn't need that much water. I just wanted to make sure that the water actually made it over there, which it did, which is awesome. I know the customers can be very happy with that. Um, awesome, super, super cool. Alrighty guys, it's been a couple weeks actually. Sorry I haven't posted. I've been sick. It was on a cruise, it, it being lazy. Um, but I really appreciate all of you that have watched this video, that watched the last video that went absolutely crazy. Um, so welcome to the channel. Um, I do have a lot of videos that I have recorded, just haven't posted, including that cruise during the hurricane. Uh, awesome video, had a great time. So make sure you hit the subscribe button, comment, like, and I'll see you in the next one.